Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek, and today I am back with another list of awesome tweaks for your iOS 10 jailbroken device. Today I've compiled a list that I think are the absolute must-have tweaks on iOS 10. And if you have an older device, these tweaks will make your device seem like new. Alright, the first tweak I wanted to show you guys is currently not working on my phone for some curious reason. So I decided to show you on my iPod Touch. This is called Icon Art. It basically allows you to have the album artwork of the current now playing application on that application icon. So right now, I'm playing Johnny Cash, and as you guys can see, that artwork is on the music application. Not only does this work for the music app, if you use Spotify or Pandora, anything that plays media, you should be able to have that icon. If it has artwork, it will now be on your icon. Next up, we have a tweak called Insta Tools, and you guessed it, this is a replacement for Rocket for Instagram and Insta Better from previous versions of iOS and it is currently being updated so a lot of things that you want like sharing a post saving a post you can do that you can tap and hold on a post so you can zoom in I know that Instagram has made their own zooming feature but you can't stay zoomed in to one part of the picture so with a tweak like this you can go ahead and zoom in and stay there so neat little tweak insta tools go check it out and next up we have a bit of an oldie this is called peekaboo it basically allows you to get 3d touch gestures on non-supported devices as you guys can see here if i 3d touch on the clock here or the instagram icon there we go i do have to admit that was a little hard to activate so i'm gonna go into settings and scroll down until i see peekaboo and in here I can adjust the sensitivity. And just as a proof of concept, you see here on my iPod Touch, which does not have 3D Touch, I can actually pull up the 3D Touch menu, which is pretty nice. And be sure you add the one from the custom repo in the description. If you do not, you will break your device. Next up, we have a tweak called Unicode Faces, which is pretty cool. When you pull up your keyboard after you install this tweak, you can hold down on the space button and you get some faces in here which is really nice. Let me tap on this face. Check that out. Here, let me bring up another one here. Look at that. It looks pretty nice to me anyway. If you guys like playing with emojis, here are some hidden emojis for you. And I'm sure that there's going to be more in the future. Next up, we have a tweak called Slide Cut. This is basically bringing the gestures from a Mac OS computer or a Windows-based computer where you hit Control or Command to access shortcuts like paste, cut, copy, etc. So what you have to do is just select something and instead of hitting these, you can go from space to, you know, the key, like copy is C, so I just do that. Or X is cut, I can just do that and cut that right there. And then slide up to V, which is paste, and I can just keep pasting this over and over and over. Or you can go to space Z to undo everything I've just done, which is really nice. Next up is a tweak that I consider to be an essential to any jailbreak, and that is Flip Control Center. This basically allows you to customize the amount of toggles in your control center. Even CC Record works with it now. I have settings, respring, and a lot of awesome tweaks. Not only that, but if you have Peekaboo installed, or if you have one of the newer devices with 3D Touch, you can 3D Touch on these toggles down here and gain actions. You can see that you have your normal camera shortcuts right here. Also, if you go touch one that is not an application, it'll take you to that segment in settings. So if I force touch on low power mode, it'll take me to low power mode. Of course, this works with stuff like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. It all works the same way. And of course, it looks really good with dark mode turned on. If you guys want to learn how to get this awesome dark mode system-wide, go ahead and check out this video up here or in the description. Next up, we have one that I've never shown before. It's called iWidgets. So what this allows you to do is to add widgets to your iOS device, much like an Android device. So if I scroll over, you can see I have a weather widget right there. Once you install the iWidgets tweak, you are going to need a pack of widgets. The one I have currently installed on my phone is the M2 iWidgets pack. And once you have both that tweak and the pack installed, just go ahead and find a blank space on your home screen, hold on that blank space, and a menu should come up like this. So I'm going to go ahead and add a digital clock, that is the first one right here, going to move it down here, 
and look at that that looks really good so if you go into wiggle mode you can actually drag this around just like you would any application and there is a hex clock right here that is wow that's cool <laughs> it looks really good with this setup next up we have the ultimate all-in-one tweak yes you guessed it it's Makoto right now it does partially work for a lot of things like disabling software updates which is good you don't want software updates to ruin your jailbreak it's almost like a spring demise but it'll also work for other applications like YouTube you can remove ads you can always play HD background playback things like that still do work even in this non updated version next up we have a smaller one that's kind of hard to show you it's called auto low power mode this tweak will enable low power mode every time you reach 20% that way you won't waste that last 20% if you're really trying to starve for battery. And number 10, I have a setup for you guys. This is a theme inside of Anemone, which is a theme tool. If you guys remember Winterboard, Anemone is the updated version and it'll work with iOS 10. And the theme I wanted to show you guys is minimal.ios9.dev and that is what it's called as of now. It might change, I don't know, it's still being developed. This is the theme you guys are currently looking at. It kind of shrinks the icons down a little. Also minimalizes every single icon, which is really, really nice. So if you guys are into theming, go check this one out. So if you watched this video this far, you have reached a bonus tweaks segment. The first bonus tweak I want to talk about is Hide Labels 10. It basically gets rid of the icon labels on your jailbroken device. That way if you have a theme, you can make it look really minimalistic like this. Scrollers will allow you to go to the top or to the bottom of any app by tapping on specified sections of the status bar. I can go up and down depending on which section I tap. Now if you already checked out my video on dark mode, you might have noticed some of the tweaks are paid. But dark messages allows you to have a taste of that dark mode inside of your messages application so if I exit out and turn off my dark mode you guys can see that the messages app is actually really dark absolutely free let me know what tweaks you have installed on your device what is your favorite tweak on iOS 10 let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you guys but for now I'm probably gonna go eat some dinner I don't know about you but I'm pretty hungry anyways guys until next time peace